the Joe Rogan experience. I was watching that documentary on one of my flights recently about the uh, the Chinese Exclusion Act. Have seen that documentary? What's that? There was this whole act in the uh, they they were showing about like the first Chinese guy that came to America, and I think it was in the seventeen uh, hundreds he came over, and then he proved to be a good worker, and eventually. By the 1800s, there was like 60,000 Chinese people, and then for some reason America had a problem with them, and they they had this exclusion act to... Um, they had even allowed black people to be free and black people to vote, but the Chinese were considered less than human. What? What, what year was this? <clears throat> this was in the 1800s. So this when... 1882, yeah. Is this when they were working on the railroads a lot? Yeah, that, then they let them come in and work on the railroad, but they wouldn't mm. allow them to become citizens. Bro, you ever see photos of Chinese people working on the railroads? They're some of the bleakest photos. And they all had their hair back. Like their mm -hmm. foreheads were huge for some of the way they would pull their hair back. They probably didn't want their hair to get stuck on the fucking tracks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine train comes by and catches you by the hair. Oh, yeah. They they uh, they used them pretty badly. It's a horrific story. It's, yeah. But the the photos. We were, I was watching that uh, Hulu uh, docuseries Sasquatch, and uh, it was talking a lot about, you know, like the people that they use to to make the railroads and to to uh, mine and the people that that use to uh chop to cut down the trees up in the Pacific Northwest and uh, up in uh yeah. northern California. Yeah, with the and uh... there's these photos that they sh they showed of these Chinese folks that were working on those railroads and it's so depressing, man. Yeah, they were treated like shit. And there's just no hope. There's, you're not getting out of that. There's no upward nope. mobility. There's Nothing. no, there's no future. Yeah, there's uh, no promise. Yeah. And then they weren't allowing them to become U.S. citizens, even if they were born here. You know what's crazy? <clears throat> even today, like in Harvard, it's more difficult for Asian people to get in than anybody else. Really? Yeah. There's a lawsuit about it right now. Yeah. Apparently, they have so many Asian folks that uh, were getting into Harvard that they decided to specifically tailor their tests to make it more difficult or their requirements or what they, uh, what they're, what, see, I don't want to fuck this up because uh, Andrew Yang's people were the ones who were talking to me about it. One of the guys who came last time when Andrew Yang was here. Nice guy that Andrew Yang. He's a great guy. <clears throat> yeah. He's a great guy. I hope he runs again. Well, he's going to run for mayor. Of um, of New York City, he's running right now, oh, and it's good. him and this other gentleman who was uh, <sighs> I forget what he did, but this other guy carries a fucking gun, and he's talking about like ramping up police presence, and uh, he's a black guy, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are behind him, and they think like this is what we need to turn the city around, like they need to respect law and order, right. and they need to do something about the fucking crime. There was a shooting spree in Times Square. The other yeah, day, there was a four-year-old got oh, yeah. shot. A woman and her daughter. It's her crazy, child, yeah. man. So here it is. Yeah, America's appeals um, court rules Harvard doesn't discriminate against Asian American applicants. Oh, okay. So this is a federal appeals court in Boston has ruled Harvard doesn't intentionally discriminate against Asian American applicants. So what is the argument? Because the, there was a lot of Asian people that were insisting that that was the case said the statistical evidence did not show that Harvard intentionally discriminated against Asian Americans. Students for Fair Admissions, an advocacy, advocacy group, uh, first filed its lawsuit in 2014, saying it's Harvard, that Harvard's race-based considerations for applicants discriminated against Asian American students in process. Today's decision, once again, finds that Harvard's admission policies were consistent with Supreme Court, precedent, Supreme Court precedent and lawfully and appropriately pursue Harvard's efforts to create a diverse campus that promotes learning and encourages mutual respect and understanding in our community. It's like, what is the argument, though? Proponents for ending race-based considerations at U.S. universities were unfazed by Thursday's decision to plan to bring the case to the Supreme Court. So what does it say? What is the question? Okay, the question of how much race should be a factor in college applications is a hotly contested one. President Trump's administration has challenged college on using race in admission policies, claiming such practices violate federal law. Last month, the Department of Justice filed a lawsuit against Yale University, saying its policies violate the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Yale has said the lawsuit is baseless. What is school's admissions rules, though? That's what I'm confused with. Well, so does that mean uh, external Chinese people Scroll or Chinese down? Americans? Um, I, I think... I just think it's just Asian period. 
Well, the, when they do race, they don't they don't say well because we only I've, want African Americans. I mean, I'm Asian, you right? Know what I mean, and right. So I mean, right. It's vague, right? <clears throat> but I mean, I can understand. But you're Canadian. You're Canadian. It cancels everything out. It's true. It's true. Uh, what is the race based admission policy though that makes them say that they discriminated? Does it say? See if you can find. Oh, look! They've tried to pop up ad. You motherfuckers. See if you can <laughs> find what the argument is that Harvard does discriminate against Asians. But these guys that were with Andrew Yang, uh, they believed pretty strongly that that's what Harvard was doing. I mean, you know, there's a lot of those admissions tests that are race, racially biased according to how you grew up and what you know, you right. know. So I think what they tried to do is make it, the person who wrote the test or whatever, wrote it from their perspective. We need to fix society so that you never have to think about that shit at all. You know? Oh, here it goes. In the lawsuit, plaintiffs claim that Harvard imposes a soft racial quota, which keeps the number of Asian Americans artificially low. The low percentage of Asians admitted to Harvard, plaintiffs maintain, was suspiciously similar year after year, despite dramatic increases in the number of Asian American applicants and the size of the uh, Asian American population. During the lawsuit, the plaintiffs gained access to Harvard's individualized admission files from 2014 to 19 and aggregate data from 2000 to 2019. The plaintiffs also interviewed and deposed numerous Harvard officials. From those sources, the plaintiffs revealed that Harvard admissions officers consistently rated Asian American applicants as a group lower than others on traits like positive personality, likability, courage, wow. kindness, and being widely respected. What the fuck? Just think about what that says. <laughs> they they rate you on positive personality, likability, courage, kindness, and being widely respected. Those are so vague. Well, I mean, you know, different different nationalities have different personalities. You know, different races have different ways of dealing with things. Look and at, what may be considered offensive to one is not to the other, you know? Or, or likable to me is not likable to you. For sure. But look at it says here. Asian Americans scored higher than applicants of any other racial or ethnic group on other admissions measures like test scores, grades, and extracurricular activities. But the students' personal ratings significantly drag down their admissions chances. Wow, that's weird, man. That's, I mean, I guess you'd have to talk to someone from Harvard and get them drunk and say, <laughs> what's really going on? Why do you have this likability, courage, kindness, and being wildly respective? And what is a positive personality? You have to be positive. What if you're like, God damn it, I suck, but you work really hard? Like that's a negative personality, but yeah. you know, like you're maybe you have a negative opinion of yourself, but you work really hard. Maybe that's why you work hard because you don't think of yourself very. It's weird, man. Harvard's admission staff testified they did not believe that different racial groups have better personal qualities than others, but n nevertheless, Asian applicants as a racial group receive consistently weaker personal scores. Over the period surveyed and Harvard admissions officers rated Asian Americans with the worst personal qualities of any racial group. Wow. African Americans, <laughs> on the other hand, consistently scored the, low, the lowest on academic rating, but the highest on the personal rating. Man, man, but you know what? Personal rating, that like makes me think about like that whole... The, the Chinese social score system. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I don't... About that. I don't like that. That's a very weird thing. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.